Do you want to finish your forklift? Are you struggling and you don't know how to fix it? What's the fastest way? How to do it as a free-to-play player? Do you really have to buy things from the shop to finish the forklift? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Last Dinner video and what is he doing to my dog? In today's one, I'm gonna show you how to get the forklift 99% faster in Transport Hub. I suggest watching how to build your base design in Settlement video, which is in my free to play playlist or the link will be in description. This is how the video looks like. Make sure to check that out because this video is more for endgame players or for those who need to unlock forklift in Transport Hub. And to unlock forklift, you need to build a bench, which is this right here, electronics workbench. I'm gonna take it back into my backpack. You need to build this to make rotors. Now, as you can see, I took it and now I cannot build it back. Why is that? Well, uh, let me introduce you to a trick that everyone needs to use in settlement. As you can see in this base, I have only this amount of pumps connected, three stations connected with my pumps. So you will need water or pipes to be connected to this machine here. You can basically have two, two is enough, but I had three here. The only reason I had three here is because I wanted to upgrade my settlement. And if you want to upgrade your settlement to the max level, which will let you get eight shelvings, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means you will need to upgrade it to level four. And for level four, you will need 16 level two walls. Let me first show you how the trick works. If I go to my assembly here, this is a assembly room, obviously, so I'm missing that room here let's put a table this is an assembly table and if i click on this as you can see it's a level one assembly so what's going on here we're missing a box with parts so that box with parts is actually in here in the wrong room so let me just move that from there now you're curious how do i have a box of parts in this room well this is a forge room well if i move this back and move it back as you can see i cannot move it back so the trick here is you can remove a desk, put it in your inventory. Now I can move a forge room desk over here. Boom. Now this is a forge room magically. And look, guess what? I can move the forge here stacked with the settlement's assembly stations in the same room. So what does this mean? This means that we will be able and only use one room instead of building five different rooms with level two walls and get the electronics workbench. So. Let's move this back here. I don't want this here. Now, as you can see, I need to move back the desk because if I try to move this back, it's not working because we need to move back the desk. So let's move it back. Now we're able to do that. The trick here is, first of all, I will have to disassemble these walls here because there is level two floors. As you can see over here, I have many level two floors and all the walls are connected here. So we'll need to have the two rooms bound together connected in order to upgrade this to level four. Let me show you. Let's put the desk back like this. So if you take a look now, I need a molder. And so we have to power that up. Let's get some gas. Gas over here. It's going to power up all of them. Now it's working. This is a big generator, by the way. So if you take a look now on this desk here, it shows you what you need to advance to the next level. We are in level three. We need level four wall, which will take some resources to upgrade. We need 12 floors, which we have 13 in this room. And we need 14 chipboard level two walls which there's only nine in this room calculate one two three four five six seven eight nine level two walls now take a look at this since we have some more walls in this room it's not counting for this room why because it's obviously not connected we have to delete the wall here boom now it's connected but it's a red line what's that that is because there's two desks in one room so let's remove this desk boom now it's one big room connected, as you can see, like that. What does that mean? That means that we are now on 16 walls. As you can see, 16 out of 4 framed walls, that's level 2 walls. Now we need to build a pipe rolling machine connected to power and a hydraulic press connected to water. So what do we do here? If you build everything exactly like I did right here, connected to the pump, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here. We have a wrong station on here, so let's remove this and we need a hydraulic part. So if I already have that built, as you can see, some of my things are locked out now because I don't have desks built. So basically what I need to do is just put the desk somewhere in an empty room like that or just 
have it somewhere basically because as you can see it's locked now it's unlocked i had this pipe rolling machine already built it's in my inventory stored in the chest that's why i'm able to build this so you just connect this let's say like this we build a pipe rolling machine then you build a hydraulic press like this boom and there you go it's all done it's all finished you build them like this and we have reached the final level here this wall level five is not um, available in the game so level four is the max for the rooms and uh, you now can build a welding bench which is this I already have that let's see where power is available we have this power is available this does not match the room by the way this is an assembly room but this is a wood shop furniture or station here so let's actually as you can see now I cannot access it because I need to move the desk I need to make this a woodshop desk, so in order for me to remove this or move it, I have to actually do this. Remove the desk here, move in the woodshop like so, and now I can access it. So let's remove the stuff here. Now I can remove the desk, move it back to this room, and move back the assembly desk like so. So now I can remove the station here and place the last bench I need, the welding bench. And as you can see with the welding bench from iron rods, from iron wires to iron frames. Now, this is how you're gonna progress in the settlement. This is the trick. We have all the... this room is finished. Everything is done in this room. Everything is done. So you will be crafting stuff one by one in this room. Like high tier stuff. When you're done crafting, you're basically going to move, do this. You are going to remove the desk like that. And you are going to move in, for example... A forge, whatever you need to craft, you move it here, right? That's there. And as you can see, it's all finished already. Why is it finished? Because we have the framed floors and the framed walls already built in this room. So we can just exchange desks back and forth whenever you want to build something. And then, if you don't have enough space, not a problem. What do you need to do? Remove the welding bench and move in the stuff that you need to use. For example, this rolling machine here. You want to use this? Well, move it into the place because it's connected to the power here. As you can see, the power cables are going from here, from here, to here, to here, to here, to the generator, to here, to the pipe, and to this generator. So it goes like this. And like this. And then like this. Boom. That's it. That's all the wires that you need in the settlement. That is extremely cheap. The cheapest build ever. And here we have also some cables from going from generator to here to the substation. After you build a substation, you can remove it. And then the cables go from here, 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 here to that. Now, this is like... I wasted some cables there. This is not important. The, mo the most important part is this side. You just build your wires like this to this generator and here. And that's all you need to do. So now, as you can see, by just building this rolling machine, you'll be able to make iron billets, craft iron sheets, and that's it. You will need these iron sheets for the forklift to finish. So that's really the trick. You move in a desk whenever you need to, and you move it out when you don't need it, when you need something else to craft. So that is what we're doing. Now I need a cooler, and it uses water. What does that mean? That means we have to move this hydraulic press from the old station. Just put it in your inventory or whatever, and build the hydraulic press. When you build it once, you don't have to build it again. Again, because you can just take it in and take it back since it's a forge now we go to foundry and there's the cooler as you can see there's this little icon right here backpack or if this is in your backpack or in a chest it's gonna show you that and you do not have to build it so now we can just place the cooler on the water pipe right here because it's connected to the water pump and this is what you do for every single room you do not need five rooms you just need one room connected to all the power and the water and you're so golden and this is extremely cheap to do. And as you can see now, since the cooler is connected, you advance to the next level, which is the max level, which is level 4. And then you will be able to build a broaching machine. What does that mean? To actually build this, I do not have enough space. So what I would have to do is remove actually this thing. Move this rolling machine over here, because the power is connected here, as we all know, to this generator. And the broaching machine is the final machine that you need to build in Foundry. And as you can see, with this machine, you can turn iron billets to iron rods. Now, let me tell you another thing. You actually don't have to do all of this. Because Transperdub CIF crate will give you these resources. Rarely. But there is a chance to do so. But it's gonna take you forever. So, anyways, I'll still advise you to build these machines. Because it's gonna be quicker and faster. Although the settlement crate and transport up will give you a boost to that. Now you, that you know this trick, that's all you need to do. By the way, this base design is wrong, outdated. The newest base design is supposed to look like this. This is how it's supposed to look like. As you can see, 
this is how it's supposed to look like. This is the final base on how you need to build it. As you can see here, it says a new room. That does not matter. Just don't build the five walls here and just keep it a big storehouse room right here. And of course, when the update comes, you can just cut it in half, boom, expand it downwards, and boom, you have six rooms now. Easy. So this is how you build the settlement base. And as you can see, if you calculate the level two walls here, you can zoom in, but you need the full resolution picture for that. But uh, I'm gonna zoom in regardless. So there is 16 level two walls here. And when you build them, you will be able to unlock all the stations in the settlement. You need maximum 16 level 2 walls. So with this trick, you will be able to get the forklift. And as, as you can see, when you have these uh, machines sitting in your inventory, you can just put them in your boxes. Or you can just actually do this. As you can see, if I move the forge here out and build, put in another desk, for example, let's say this woodshop desk. You can keep these things actually in one room. Let's say you just tuck them in a corner and just spam them somewhere if you don't like keeping it in your inventory. For example, like this. And whenever you don't want to use it anymore, you just use it back there, put that back there, put the desk back in like this. And now it's a forged room with assembly stations, with wood shop stations mixed up with the, this stuff. So that's the trick pretty much. So now, let's get to the detailed part. Let's start off with the very first one, which is the storehouse which you build in settlement. You will need to build this to start off, obviously. On level 4 on settlement, as I mentioned, you will need 16 level 2 walls to get the 8 pallets built and 8 shelvings built. So if you're interested in that, you do the same trick. You just delete some walls, make sure it's on one connected room, blah blah blah. You know what? I'm actually gonna show you, so, because people are not gonna get confused. This is the storehouse room, of course, as you can see. So what you need to do is just remove this wall here, this door, everything is connected. The settlement is gonna be like, hey, we have 16 walls in this one room. We are now available to upgrade it. And as you can see, it says restore all walls. So you would have to not make it red, which means remove the desk here. And as you can see, if you go to the desk of the settlement storehouse, it says level 2, please connect a fan to get it to level 3. So what you do next is connect a fan, whatever power is available. Let's say settlement storehouse fan, boom, put a fan there, boom, settlement is happy. Hey, you connected a fan. Uh, it's not working because the stupid thing is using up too much power here. So let me just remove some of these benches here. It's now connected, the generator is connected to this fan here. We yoinked the fan in there. As you can see, all the cables like that. Now the settlement is going to be like, Hey, you're available to upgrade again. The fan is connected. So now we need to connect scales and this thing, whatever it's called. A cistern, I don't know what it's called, whatever. It needs water and this needs power. So what do you do again? You do the same thing again. The trick is the same thing again. You can see since it's one big room here connected, that's why we deleted this wall here. So it's one big room. Now we're going to put the... Scales here and cistern here, whatever, wherever the pipes you have built. So just build it here, I guess. Boom. It needs power. So the power is here. And now we need to build this thing. We need to build it here. And as you can see, when you build all of this in one room, connected to the pipes, connected to the water, boom, your settlement says, congratulations, you just finished upgrading. Next level's coming soon. And when you get to the max level, you will be able to build all of these eight shelves here. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shelvings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pellets. That's what you can do for some extra storage. That's a trick. Let's continue for this settlement stuff. So I'm going to show you quickly what each stuff costs. So for settlement, pellets cost 10 planks, 10 nails. Cart costs 6 iron billets, 6 Iron plates, four sheaves, and ten bolts. Sheaves are obtained from expeditions and daily loot from settlement. Moving on. Barrels. How do we get barrels? Six iron billets. Oh, by the way, iron billets will be crafted in the forge with iron bars. Rubber hose is obtained from settlement expeditions, transport hub, a laboratory, three rubber per sector, and settlement expeditions and settlement daily loot. You can also get rubber hose from GM crate and transport hub. Plastic obtained from recycling stuff, you'll find out how. Shelvings require iron billets, two small boxes, eight iron plates, ten bolts. Fan requires power, requires six wirings, aluminum cables, which is obtained by crafting from rubber hose and aluminum wires, will make you aluminum cables. Also, don't worry, I will show you everything later. Uh, eight iron plates and ten plastic to make a fan. 
Scales will require 6 iron billets, 8 wooden parts, 4 iron sheets, 6 high-tech components. These wooden parts can be obtained from the milling machine in workshop which will need pine beams to make light parts or wooden parts yeah we'll get into that later iron sheets is obtained from forge we'll get into all of this later high tech components obtained from recycling mobile phones or looting red zones from the ground and there you go next thing is the cistern and six iron sheets four chipboards eight iron parts and six rubber hose to build this thing it needs water as you can see this one needs power this one needs power three things need power here and this is the storehouse Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the next one, the wood shop. Da -da the wood shop is going to be your second thing you're going to build in the settlement. And this wooden desk will need 12 planks, 6 iron bars, log holder will need 4 pine beams, 8 screws, 8 planks, 10 rope. Pine bench will need 10 planks, 6 iron bars, 8 bolts, 6 scrap, and it will make you a pine beam with 4 planks. On level 4, you will be able to get 2 benches. Two benches on level four, okay? And you'll be able to make four planks into one oak beam. Next up is the grinder, which requires power, as you can see, and a generator. And connect the power to the grinder. Make sure to watch my free-to-play playlist videos, episodes on how to connect the grinder to the goddamn power, if you still don't know. Cost 10 iron bullets, 16 bricks, 8 iron plates, 8 aluminum cables, 20 scrap, 2 engine parts, and will make you one pine beam into two sawdust. That's how you get sawdust. Next up is the carpenter bench, which has no use, is four frames, pine frames or wooden frames or whatever it's called, six iron billets, 12 light parts, eight aluminum wire to craft this bench. Next is pressing machine, and it will make you chipboards. To first craft this, you need 12 iron sheets, 20 stone bricks, eight pipes or iron pipes, eight hydraulic parts, 12 iron parts, and 16 bolts. It will make you one chipboard from 10 sawdust and four resin. Resin is obtained from transport up settlement crate. CIF crate, which is the second crate, or obtained from expeditions or daily loot. You can also get chippers from daily loot and expeditions, and it's also obtained from transport up, settlement crate. Next up is the wood dryer, and this is the final thing you build. Also, this thing needs water, I forgot to mention. Every, everywhere you see what it needs, power or water, doesn't matter though, just just follow my settlement base design, bruh. You don't need no goddamn pipes or power, just, just put the things how it is in my settlement base design, and that's all you need to do. Anyways, the wood dryer costs 8 iron sheets, 6 aluminum cables, 10 iron parts, 2 electronic circuits, 16 bolts, 1 heat sensor. Heat sensors obtained from killing turrets and bunker alpha bunker wherever wherever turrets exist and you can get them also from raids electronic circuits obtained from sievers easily peasily do sievers easy next up this that was the wood shop moving on to the forge the forge is gonna be the third room you're gonna build it, it requires eight planks 10 iron plates for the desk forge requires eight beams 12 plates eight bricks four ball bearings it will turn four iron bars into one iron billet that's what the forge is for Anvil is useless, it's a decoration, but you will have to build it, it has no use, just a requirement to go to the next level. Same with the other stations, if it just costs and doesn't do anything, that's what it is, it has no use, that means. So it costs 4 beams, 12 billets, 8 bolts, 4 aluminum plates. Next up is the drawing bench, 16 pine beams, 10 iron billets, 8 sheaves, 10 iron plates to craft the bench. It will need 1 iron billet to make a 1 iron wire. On level 4, you will be able to make copper wires from copper billets. We'll need copper bars. And you can also turn aluminum bars into aluminum wires in this bench. You make, basically make wires in here. Next up is the grindstone. Next up is the grindstone. It needs 8 iron billets, 6 aluminum cables, 6 bricks, 2 engine parts. It has no use again. It needs power. Rolling machine requires 20 iron billets, 8 aluminum cables, 12 sheaves, 8 high-tech components, 8 cogs. Cogs are obtained from Bunker Bravo, Bunker Alpha, Red Crates, and from commune event, from supply event, and that's about... And gun oil is obtained from bunker alpha hard mode, or commune event, or supply event, or from digging stashes in red zones, yellow zones, or finding it from red zones on the ground. Needs two iron billets, and it will make you an iron sheet from these two iron billets. That's the rolling machine. Cooler needs eight iron sheets, one gas cylinder, one gas cylinder, 12 iron parts, four motor oil, uh, by the way, gas cylinder can be obtained from Bunker Bravo for floor, so you have to do that. Motor oil is obtained from settlement expeditions or daily loot. And 12 pipes. Pipes are obtained from laboratory and rubber hose. The cooler is also useless and it needs water. And it's a decoration item, will be required to go to the next level. And lastly, broaching machine needs 10 oak planks, 10 iron sheets, 16 sheaves, 12 aluminum cables, 6 hydraulic parts, 8 motor oil, 
And with that, it will make Iron Billet into a Iron Rod. This thing requires power as well. Alright, that was the Forge Room. And moving on to the next one. Feel free to pause the video if you want to see. You can also screenshot all of this, but there will be 8K resolution pictures in my Discord. Feel free to join my Discord if you want to see all of the 5 pictures for each category of the rooms. The assembly. It will require 6 pine beams, 12 aluminum plates to build a desk. Next up is the assembly table. It will need 10 pine beams, 6 iron billets, 8 aluminum plates, 6 springs. It will make you 1 frame from 2 pine beams and 4 screws. Screws are obtained from settlement expeditions, daily loot, motel, and you can craft it on a bench, which is in the workshop. On, lev on higher level, which is probably level 4 or level 3, I forgot, but you will be able to make 2 this oak frame with just 2 oak beams, which is probably like 8 oak planks, and 4 iron parts. Box of parts, 4 frames, 4 iron billets, 8 planks, 8 screws. Molder will need 12 frames, 14 iron billets, 6 aluminum cables, 10 sheaves, 8 light parts, 12 springs, and it requires power. This will make you 1 slate with 4 water bottles, 4 asbestos, asbestos is obtained from sewers, 4 iron wires and 10 sawdust. Wise is built by 10 iron billets, 8 iron wires, 6 sheaves and 1 truck wheel, obtained from red zones. And rolling machine will make you pipes which needs two iron sheets and four rubber parts. It's built with 16 frames, 12 iron sheets, 10 aluminum cables, eight sheaves, 10 rubber, and six cogs. Cogs again are obtained from Bunker Bravo, supply event, commute event, and requires power. Hydraulic press needs four pine frames, eight iron billets, six hydraulic parts, eight iron parts, four rubber hose, 12 screws, and requires water. Welding bench is the last thing in the assembly category and it requires 10 oak frames, 12 iron sheets, 8 iron rods, 8 iron parts, 16 aluminum cables and 12 copper wires. It needs power. It will make you one grill frame from just 2 iron rods and 4 iron wires. That's it for the assembly room. Moving on to the next room, the workshop room. Workshop Desk requires 8 beams, 8 billets. Montage table requires 8 frames, 8 sheaves, 6 iron wires, 6 aluminum plates, 8 duct tape, 12 bolts. And it will make you 1 aluminum cable from 4 aluminum wires and 2 rubber hose. Next up is box of parts, 8 iron billets, 6 iron wires, 4 sheaves and 8 plastic. Milling machine will make you light parts and it needs 1 pine beam. It needs 16 iron billets, 4 aluminum cables, 4 sheaves, 8 Iron wires, 10 scrap and 20 leather. Requires power. Transformer requires 4 iron sheets, 8 aluminum cables, 4 sheaves, 6 high tech components. Requires power. Leather, whatever this thing is called, requires 14 iron sheets, 6 aluminum cables, 6 sheaves, 16 rubber, 12 iron wires, 6 motor oil. It requires power and it will make you 2 screws for just 1 iron bar and 1 iron part with just 1 iron billet. Not sure if it's 2 or 1 screws, but anyways, yeah. Sink is 8 iron sheets, 6 plastic, 10 iron parts, 4 high tech components, 8 pipes, 4 rubber hose, and it requires water. Electronic workbench is the last table that you build in the settlement in the workshop category. It needs 8 iron grills or frames, 6 iron sheets, 8 resin, 10 rubber, 20 aluminum cables, 16 copper wires. And for that you will be able to get and build your first rotors from three iron rods and four copper wire. Since you need five for the forklift, this is gonna cost you 15 iron rods and 20 copper wires. That is gonna cost you a little bit of a copper bars and copper billets, but it's the grind, man. So get to grinding, boy. And do not skip settlement. And of course, open the settlement crate and transport up as these things can drop from settlement crate and transport up. And you can make coils with two high tech components for copper wire and coils are used for drone benches. Just had to mention that. And that's it for the workshop room in settlement. If you guys want to see all the pictures, all the five high quality pictures of settlement, feel free to join my Discord. It will be in hashtag LDE settlement channel in my Discord. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now you know how to build rotors by using the trick. You can utilize all of that. 16 chipboard level 2 walls is all you need. And you'll be able to build all of these benches. You of course will need to build framed floors as well. Now we're gonna go speedrun the transport hub location. Let's see if we get minor or not. Yep, we did. Great. That could have been a tutorial video, but it is what it is. Alright, let's speedrun this guy. You just stand behind this container here, call in the drone, let the drone do the job. We're gonna finish him off pretty quickly. Alright, let's call another drone. All 
right, transport up completed. We're gonna quickly secure this loot crate over here. Because I want to loot. We're gonna definitely loot the garbage we got over here. Maybe we get a gun. Or maybe, yes we do. Gotta love transport up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here. And that guy out of here. I'm here for my loot, man. Now, if you want to see how to do transport hub efficiently, this is not the video to watch. I'm just having fun in transport hub right now. If you want to really know how to do it, check out my beginner playlist on how to do transport hub with just melee weapons, okay? That's all you gotta do. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, in transport hub, this is the settlement crate that you always want to open. There's no point to open a BPD chest if you don't need guns and if you don't need blueprints. The settlement crate is more important than anything else in a transport hub. So let's scan that. All right, we got the Y Genesis crate. So this is the crate, the fourth crate that you will get access to once you unlock the forklift. So before you unlock the forklift, all you want to do is probably just open the black crate, which is the settlement CIF crate. It's basically going to boost your settlement progress by like so much and you'll have to grind less. You can also get cogs, as you can see from this truck right here in transport hub. Now we have the settlement crate, which is the CIF crate, or we can open the Genesis crate, which is the white crate. You can get drone blueprint from this. And the crane key. This is what you get for upgrading your forklift or unlocking it. Armor piercing guns from transport hub and you'll be getting the drone blueprint. Possibly. It's rare. Not guaranteed. Let's open the Genesis crate. Let's see what it's going to give us. As you can see, we got three armor piercing guns. One hazmat suit. Lead plates. And that's about it. Some medicine items. And we got reagents, which are not that useful. The red crate is way better and more superior than the white crate. But you have a chance to get the sunken crate key from this chest. But that is the loot of this Genesis crate, basically. So that's not all. You can also repair the bridge here in Transport Hub. And obviously for repairing the bridge here, it will cost you this. I took it, the picture from the Vicky because I already repaired it. I don't know the cost, but you'll be able to get extra stuff from here. And in this box here, you can get rare blueprints. But the thing is, as you can see, you can either get a common or you can get a purple blueprint. This is the extra loot you can get here. And you can get cogs from this place here. And you can also get factory parts and lens, as you can see as well. The only useful part that you will get from this additional house looting is this three drone parts every single time you do transport of every two days. So make sure you build the bridge as soon as possible to get these drone parts, as there's no other way to get drone parts right now. So that's about it. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. This is not my free-to-play account. This is my main account. On the free-to-play, we are nowhere close to getting the forklift yet. But I just wanted to make this video for you guys out there and show you guys tips and tricks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and make sure to join my Discord if you don't want to miss my notifications when I stream or upload videos. And as well as not miss out on notifications when I post something in Discord. You can also vote on what next video you want to see in my Discord channel. Hashtag LDE poll channel. Make sure you do that. Whenever I post there, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.